there is a saying that you've never really seen a master tactician at work until you see two trinities perform in a law of retribution or Jordan's verdict grade. It is true that these raids have been removed from the game, at least for now, but in those days, this is what really proves your mettle as a Trinity main. She is the most requested and underappreciated frame in some ways, and when it comes to it, Trinity has often received the deadliest nerfs in Warframe. Today I will be showing you how to master the frame, because even with the nerfs, Trinity is still one of the most versatile frame in the game. When you decide to look into Trinity, there are a few worries to have. Trinity can play both offense and defense, and she is also what you can consider the perfect mage in Warframe. She can heal, give energy, mitigate damage, and when the time calls for it, Trinity can deal damage as well. She can be intimidating at first due to the pressure from a lot of people, pressure from squad mates. Every time you jump into a mission, you are looked up to as a savior and expected to hold everyone's hand. Now, of course, this has its own positive side and of course the negative side. And if someone dies, you are more likely to get blamed for it. The difficulty of playing Trinity is always going to be the pressure of the role, since there are multiple builds out there and builds are quite easy to find. In the past, the two major roles are Energy Vampire and Healing Trinity, which is basically a Link Trinity, and now it has expanded to DPS and, in some cases, a Mission Coordinator. Trinity is first and foremost a defensive mage frame, not an offensive mage. An offensive mage will be frames like Oberon, but Trinity is a little bit different. She is not meant for offense, and this is where she really shines the most. Because she is not meant to account for the highest overall damage output, Trinity is often relied upon to keep everyone calm, and keeping everyone calm comes in various ways. Keeping your squad calm might require you to get all the lures and keep the team alive in an Adalon hunt, and you must not complain about that because when you play that frame, there is a mantle that you have to actually live by and follow. Doing this means your team can focus on their DPS, debuffs, and other roles as well. Being a great trinity doesn't happen overnight, and of course it takes time to know what you're supposed to do in each mission, and regardless of your purpose on the team, always pay attention to your teammates health and shields. In defensive mission, you will be tasked with staying close to the defensive target. In Hydlon hunts, you really have to babysit the lures and that is what you're supposed to do. It is a must since you are the one who can heal the lures and make sure that they are alive. If the lures die before the Eidolon dies, that means your entire team and all the DPS and debuffs and buffs, they just wasted their time killing the Eidolon. A lot of people want to capture the Eidolon because that way you get more rewards. Your job is to keep the lures alive and you have to pay attention to that. When playing survival mission, your job is to keep the team's energy up using energy vampire and of course you will have the occasional healing. Now, of course, this is where you may encounter some crazy situations. Some teammates may run far away and get killed in the process, and if any of these things happen, any teammate that goes down while being far away from you is no longer your fault and you have to understand that. Though you may get blamed for it, but you have to understand and don't beat yourself up for it. When it comes to modern Trinity, there are two major builds to look into. EV and Link as we described earlier. Energy Vampire builds have less duration and high power strength. Link builds, which is the healing build, have high duration and high power strength. So every other mod is basically going to be to compensate for if you're going to be playing in solo or if you're going to be playing as part of a team. Energy Vampire builds are required heavily in team plays because you are going to be giving out energy and of course you will be accounting for the shields and in this case you will be giving your squad over shields as well. But when you decide to go solo or maybe you're going to mod or you're going to farm other items, a link build is going to be your best bet. Link builds have high duration 
and would also increase survivability for you because you don't have anyone else to revive you or help you draw away the aggro. Mods like Rolling Guard is a great addition for when you are in between ability casts. Let's say your link just ran out, you can roll and then cast the next one. So mods like Rolling Guard is a great addition. It's not a must, but if you have it, then you can add it to your build. It is in some ways even better than natural talent in some Trinity builds. Trinity doesn't need an armor mod since her base armor is very, very low and the goal is going to be to amplify her strengths. Now, in terms of weapon sets, she does perfectly well with throwing knives and shotguns, which uh, my choice will be the Sancti Tigris from the new Loka. And of course, when it comes to melee choice, I will say go for the swords and shields because those are perfect as well. And that can actually keep you safe as a Trinity player. Now, when it comes to playing Trinity, you must also understand that the only weakness she has is you as a player. She still remains one of the most powerful and most versatile frames to date. And in the end, don't expect anyone to thank you after each mission, because why? You just did your job and you just played your role. So don't expect any thanks for it. Everyone did theirs and of course you did yours. Overall, Trinity is a great frame for intermediate players. You've been playing Warframe for a couple of months and you're looking to try out other frames. She can be a little bit challenging at first. However, she encourages you to think outside the box. Now, also remember that you will carry the burden of the frame whenever you jump into an mission. And above all, don't forget to play your role. Your role, first and foremost, is always going to be a defensive mage, a defensive healer, a defensive support frame. So that is what you have to focus on. When the time calls for it, you can do a little bit of DPS, but most especially, let other people do the work. Now, with that said, I hope this video helps you guys a lot. I hope it also gives you a great understanding about Trinity and how she functions, how she plays, her role in every solo or team composition. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you found it informative. I'll see you in the next one.